Good morning, everybody, or good night, or good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, it's morning for me. I just woke up uh, checking out of the hotel, and we are going to, well, I gotta meet up with Craig first. He's one floor under me, and we have a rental car. So we are driving to the Ben & Jerry's headquarters. Hi, Hello. Just packing her up. They asked Craig how many cards he needed, and he, he said two in case he forgot one, but he left them both in the room. And then he had to go back and get another one. But then he left that one in the room, and then he had to get another one. You just exposed me like that, Chris. Did you use four cards? So what if I did? We're here, day number two at the headquarters, but day number three in Vermont. What do you think, Craig? It's been fun. It's really beautiful out here. We can't leave here today until we all go on the slide there. All right, so we're in the flavor room right now, and uh, we're broken into groups of three. So we have a basket of mystery ingredients that we have to formulate a vegan ice cream with. Uh, we're about to reveal what's inside. Woo, this is our box. We got extra dark split pretzels. We got balsamic vinaigrette. What? We've got strawberries, and we've got a piece of paper. Okay, unrelated. <laughs> Almond, like a white base, could be any flavor you want. We also have a chocolate base, so you could use either of those. And then we also have, um, we have like non-dairy caramels. So we have a regular one, a, a salted caramel. We have a graham, graham cracker swirl, all vegan. So as you, when you get with your teams and flavor gurus, you can kind of think and. Uh, we can help. So we got to MacGyver this. So we're really thinking about this. We think we might uh, make a reduction with the strawberries and the vinaigrette. Pretzel <laughs> chunks in there, we'll dip them in chocolate. So chocolate pretzel chunks. We need chunks because uh, Ben likes chunks. And then everyone left and so I was like, We have, uh, th this is our group, so. Hello. We have one. And then we have a mystery one over here that I can't show. <laughs> we also have Vegan New Yorker who is an anonymous account I can't show. Um, I would probably do the whole thing. It's going to reduce now. I think somebody else should try some. What's your handle again? Vegan Eats NYC. On Instagram. On Instagram. I hope I cut my finger off so it's all good on TV. <laughs> maybe not though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would be better. The professionals here say that we have to snack while we're doing it, right? Yeah. Of course. Absolutely. We have to try it. We're gonna crunch these up in a medium, uh, medium size, and we're gonna make a chocolate pretzel bark. Then we're gonna break that up and it's gonna go into the ice cream. Okay, this is strong, so let's just start with a little bit. Just to wet it down. There we go. And then this is the elixir of veganism. It's our sugar base. We're not measuring anything out, we're just doing it. Look at that. This is gonna be good, guys. The vegan New Yorker is stirring it. We have Chris, right? Chris, yeah. Well, my name's Chris. Okay, Hi, so good. He's a new member. We have. That's the only reason I remembered. Um, what do we got going over here? Chocolate. Yeah, we have some non-dairy <laughs> chocolate that we are uh, melting down to further coat our pretzels. Yes. Let's see how the bark's looking over here. Do you think you want to add any of the other swirls? I would do graham. The graham might yeah. be good. Graham cracker. Almost yeah. like. I think graham would be really good. This could be like a campfire -y theme. It's almost like. It's almost like a peach cobbler, but strawberry cobbler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got a lot going on in this uh, kitchen. Pretzel bark, hot chocolate, and we have the dry ice under it to uh, freeze it. There we go. Get in there, guys. Yeah. Thick chocolate here. So the chocolate, once we get to the ice cream, it's out. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Going to the freezer. Going to the freezer. The Graham Swirl, yeah. Graham Swirl. It's good. It's nice and gritty. I did it. I sucked it up. That's how much I know right here. This is a what almond base? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna use almond. It's a flower. Almond milk or, or almond base. Put some vanilla. Or 
Oh, we go here pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid ice cream. Food scientist Chris is taking the lead. Take an initiative. Whoa. Chocolate ice cream base. I'm just gonna jump in here. I'm pouring the ice cream base into the machine. It's gonna make it cold and it's gonna start aerating it. So the trick is, and even the small ones, hold your hand, your, I guess your dominant hand, if you want. Twist it so that as you're squeezing, you're not, you're not squeezing like this, you're twisting it out, like that. Yeah. All right, we got this. And we're all going at the same time? Everyone is, so uh, this graham, is important. chocolate and graham will be on one side, vanilla and strawberry on the other side. And as, so you'll be actually adding, as the ice cream comes out, you'll stick the gram into the ice cream flow. Okay. Right. Here we go. We Ready, guys? Start? Okay, I'll spin faster. Oh, we're gonna block it. Hold on. This is, this chunks are too big, guys. The chunks are too big? Alright, here we go. I hear you just show their some Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god, that, where should I buy that? You don't have to. Oh, sorry guys. Wait, we need uh, the rest okay, we're of the... Okay, we're here, we're here. Oh, it's just going everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, pump that grand leg up. There you go. This looks good, guys. Strawberry. Yeah, I probably need more grand, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would do a little Squeeze more. Squeeze the grand. Squeeze in the grand on this one. Ready? Yeah, so like basically that's all we have to do right now. Oh, that one. <laughs> that one's got so wow. much gram. <laughs> okay, last one. Ready? Crazy! Look at a beer. Oh! Overflow! Oh. 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 We got a list. You guys got a little more excited. Oh, oh. Alright, we got picture. some top so I it's gonna be. Look at my own dive. So we just finished our ice cream thing. It's going in the freezer now. I think we're gonna call it do it for the gram because we got the graham cracker swirl in there. It's we only have one man. shot, so hopefully it came out good. It's really grammy. Wait a minute, what did I just find in the Ben and Jerry's headquarters? What? Oh, because we had more. More is more is more. This is what happens. Alright, Chris, I got a taste test. We would have needed more. It tastes good. <laughs> what do you guys do? What is your hardest, like, how do you guys approach, like, people? Like, what is your, your hardest day, day to day? Like, what is hard for you guys? Like, converting people or just in general? Just, not just in general. When you try to talk to non vegans, I like. I find it hard to, like, find stuff to keep everything, but I live in New York and like I don't find it hard to like find clothes or find stuff to keep. But like socially is the hardest thing for me. Like like when there's a birthday cake at work and you're like the only one who's like, no, I'm not celebrating your birthday and you're like, I am, I just can't eat the cake or like when you're out and people go to someone's house and they're like, Can you bring your own food? And you're like, Cool, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> so people oftentimes when you tell them you're vegan, take it like as an affront to their yeah. personal values. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I wasn't saying anything judgmental. I just said I'm vegan. It's like better. I'm offsetting your meal. <laughs> but people can be like, 
really harsh and aggressive mm -hmm. about it from like the start. But we encourage you all to go vegan because it's really a wonderful and easy lifestyle. <laughs> I find you just got to lead by example and educate and be and try to inspire, and that's all you can really do. Because you can't try to force somebody, but just lead by example. And we were all not vegan at some point, yeah. so we know what it was like to not be vegan. Yeah, there's vegan everything except for fish food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know. we know. We know. We are aware. We know. <laughs> Do you guys have any additional questions or thoughts for the flavor gurus? They're at your beck and call right now. Suggestions, things that you would like to see. Vegan fish food. We, yeah, we, we heard you loud and clear on that one for sure. Vegan move forward, yeah. I, I had a question for you. Do you know the percentage of um, your sales that are vegan ice cream? Um, I think the last time I looked, we were somewhere around like 8 or 9%. Wow. Of our total of US? our total US global. sales are yes. coming from uh, the vegan. Awesome. Uh, and do you know? I have a follow-up question. Yeah. Do you know um, how much you've increased from last year, from year to date? Oh, um, so typically we've been growing double digits. So they typically go about twenty percent a year. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've seen the category you know grow substantially since we launched originally. So so delicious is the key. You all know this stuff. But so delicious <laughs> is like was the big player, and then. Um, we launched and then now Hagen has come in uh, and Halo Top and so I mean for, for us we like to see uh, our comp competitors come into the space and um, you just grow it beyond a vegan person or a lactose intolerant person. I think you know the, I think the real opportunity is to get people who don't typically buy non-dairy or vegan ice cream to buy non-dairy vegan ice cream and feel as though they're getting something that is just as good mm -hmm. as what they expect from ice cream, dairy ice cream. So. Um, it's an area we want to continue focusing on. And we've now launched globally, so it's one of the few platforms that, that we've started here and been able to launch all over the world, which and is doing great in other markets too. Now we have lunch. This definitely looks a lot healthier than what we've been eating the past couple days. Which all we've been, been eating like is ice cream. 50% ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. 50% 50, 50 ice cream, 50% food. It's time to go down the slide. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh my god! Ah! She got stuck. <laughs> Are you okay? Sound good. No injuries. That's the last than I thought it would be. Right. Oh, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> I think I need to take my shoes out because they they stop me. Yeah. You just. How are kids so good oh, at this? I must have been like. You gotta come. <laughs> look, at, look at your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I, I learned from Chris not to do this with shoes on. He said he stuck way too much. Yeah. We're gonna try this one. Whoa! You did go way faster than you thought you would. <laughs> <laughs> Static. <laughs> How was it? Oh yeah. Good stuff. It, that one was even faster. Yeah, and this will be the amazing. last, the last of our tour here. We're going to check out our ice cream that we made, <laughs> see if it's frozen, and then that will be it. So we're gonna unpack, do it for the gram. Yeah. Thank you guys. Ooh. Look at that. You got the the strawberry, the gram. So this is actually how we evaluate ice cream. When we are actually in the plan and we're making actual ice cream, we cut it in half what is done. We serve it in the room, we bring marketing, we do a cut up, that's what we call it. It's a cut up and we see that all oh, inclusions are all around and everywhere. So and it's actually very pretty to look at. Gotta get a little bit of each thing right there. Yeah, check that. There. Holy shit. Eating a pint will never be the same after this. Sorry. You just have to like, dang, I gotta chop it in half. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing. Wow, that's your best flavor you. yet. Oh, is this to eat? Oh, this is to scoop? Sell it. Sell it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you oh, okay. write the mic. Like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna eat my own because I know I'm partial. That's really good. The ice cream we made was really good. Make all the different. Oh, this is like hard. Yeah, yeah that's a that's like a thing. Ice cream. Like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like what? Like what? Not even an hour did to it. Yeah. 
That's a deep freezer. Yeah. Oh man, it's a big chunk. I think I got no, a little of bit of everything. Tie everybody. That's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Is that what you were saying? I, was gonna say? yeah, I, I thought you were going to say, oh wow, that's good. I, but you said it's good. I'm going to have to do the whole thing over, mm -hmm. and I'm so annoyed. Okay. So, unfortunately, Fox has to clean up our mess. <laughs> but, uh, so I was talking to Fox last night, and I asked him about his name. I've only heard your name once before, and that was Fox Mulder from X Files. And what, the story behind it is your parents. They just really loved the show. And I mean, I was born in 1997. It was kind of the peak of the X-Files craze, if, I, uh, if what the information my parents have told me is correct. <laughs> I don't really remember the 90s that well, but uh, yeah, the rest is history. They were just big nerds. Awesome. What can you do? After a long three days, we're finally driving home to Syracuse. Uh, Craig is driving now, second half of the drive. We had a great time at Ben & Jerry's. Uh, it was really cool talking to them about the future of the company and their vegan line. It's growing, they said, like 20% every year, which is really cool. 20% every year. No, it's doubling every year, right? It's doubling every year, and 8% of their sales right now is the vegan sales, which is huge. I will post the video chat we had with them in our Q&A that we did. And I'll post that on uh, in another video. I'll link it for you guys if you want to see that. Because uh, we asked them some, you know, tough questions about, and we were very frank about it. Well, at least I was. And I wanted to know what was going on with the vegan flavors and how they could transition to a more ethical company, reduce their carbon footprint, and the best way to do that. You'd be surprised. They they know the answer to this. So. Uh, they are very um, well researched in this, so um, check it out. I had a lot of fun making our own ice cream. Craig, what's one of the highlights of uh, the trip for you? Um, the hotel was fancy. Um, the, the hotel was pretty <laughs> fancy. The, I, I was surprised that there were so many dogs at the Ben & Jerry's office. Um, Everybody brings their dogs to work as you saw yeah. in the video. We're playing the guessing game. So the who am I game? The who am I game. <laughs> so you can only answer with yes or no. And the other person, Craig, has to guess who I'm thinking of. Here's how we're gonna do it. Ready? All right, Craig. I am thinking of a. Okay, I, I got one. Okay. Is this a person that exists in real life? Yes. Okay. Uh, is this a male? Yes. Uh, and I mean, I take it they're famous. Yep. Uh, is it someone older than you? Yes. Okay. Uh, are they an actor? Yes. Are do they? Is there? Is there a like main movie that they are known for, or is there like many? Many. Okay. Um, were they in a, like any famous series? Yes. Like Star Wars. No. Harry Potter? No. Nope. Lord of the Rings? No. Nope. Marvel? No. Nope. DC? No. Nope. Um, were they on TV shows too? Yes. Okay, so it's a famous male actor. He's older than you. Is he, is he in his 60s? No. Is he in his 70s? No. Is he in his 50s? He might be reaching 50. So Either that or... He's in the 50s. Yeah. Okay. Um, does he usually play comedies? He's played a lot of comedies, but not all. Um, does he also play like drama? Movies? Yep. Action movies? Yep. Um, the yep or no game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Are they jacked? Sometimes. Sometimes jacked. You guys know who I'm talking You guys put it in the comments if you think <laughs> you know. Because when he said, before he said sometimes, I was going to guess maybe The Rock. No. But that would be all the time. Yep. Um, Sometimes more than others. And you said they were in, they're not in the Marvel Universe. No. Okay, because then I was going to guess Hugh Jackman. Nope. Um, okay, 40 to 50, male actor. Um, have they played in any movies recently? Yes. Uh, Brad Pitt? Nope. Let's see. 
and they're very well known? Yes. Okay. Um, are there any TV shows that are out now? No. Are they on Netflix? Um, I'm sure there's movies on Netflix that he's in. Uh, is he white? No. He's not. Is he black? Yes. Okay. Uh, he wasn't in Star Wars? No. Okay. Um, Don, well, you said he wasn't. I was going to say Don Cheadle. No. Um, you guys know, don't you? Huh? I was talking to them. <laughs> Those people. The, them. <laughs> Have I talked about this person before? Um, not to my recollection. Or any movies that they've been in? Or shows? Yeah. I have? Okay. Um, maybe. <laughs> I think you have, yeah, I think you have. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can you give me a hint? Yes. <laughs> okay, he was, um, a musician before he was an actor. Okay. He's in a movie that just came out with, um, Aladdin. Will Smith? Yeah, <laughs> Will Smith. Did you guys get it? It was Will Smith. So that's how we play the game. We've been playing it for the last few hours. It's, it's passing the time. It's pretty fun. Sometimes we have real people. Sometimes we have fictional people. Sometimes they're not people at all. But the hardest one was Simba. Simba was the hardest one. <laughs> well, because at that point we hadn't done cartoons yet, so I didn't even think about cartoons. No, the, the hardest one was Hermione because yeah. there was a miscommunication. <laughs> he thought I said it wasn't a series, so I'm like, how are you not getting this? Yeah. And uh, he couldn't guess Harry Potter because he didn't think it. He, he thought I said no series. Yeah. So anyway. if you have one miscommunication, that can throw off the whole game. That's right. So anyways, it's, uh, you know, we're probably, what, an hour away from home, and then that's it. That's how we pass our time.